Today I got the opportunity to, to go to Circuit City and um, take a look at the various uh, video cameras that they have there along with the Samsung SCMX20 and after having seen it I think I am going to go ahead and possibly ask for the MX20 for my birthday but that is not what this video is going to be about. I took a look at all the major formats that were there. Um, there were um, flash cameras. By flash, I mean uh, solid-state flash memory. There were um, hard disk uh, cameras, and there were DVD cameras that recorded straight to mini DVD uh, optical disks. There were also mini DV cameras. By this I mean mini digital video. And uh, for those of you who do not know what one of those may look like. This is a mini digital videotape. Um, the idea is that it's um, it's a it's basically the same as your VHS C or your standard VHS tape, with the exception of it being digital quality. But at the same time, you still have the limitations of tape which are that it wears out over time and you don't get the instantaneous type of um, capabilities that you do with the more recent technology uh, those being flash, hard disk, or DVD. So I plan to leave that out. Also Mini DV is very quickly leaving the market with these new formats having taken over um, I don't see the mini DV cameras on the market for much longer. With that, let's take a look at um, what I have as notes here. Uh, the flash cameras, uh, instantaneous boot up, no moving parts, longer battery life, and lighter weight. Um, the cameras can support up to 32 gig of uh, SDHC uh, memory card capacities. They can also support internal memory. Um, some cameras do have internal memory on board. Um, they, the, the internal memory does vary, but I didn't see any at the store today with internal memory on board. But the advantage to the flash is the advantages to the flash are many. Besides the ones that I just listed, one of the other ones is um, a lot of times because the flash is uh, more prevalent now. Um, when you compare it to um, hard disk and DVD cameras, um, it depends on the camera, but sometimes the flash can cost less. If not up front, then certainly over time, because with the DVDs and the, and the, and the uh, hard drives, those are moving parts and they degrade over time. Um, Whereas with the flash, since there's no moving parts, chances are the camera will last a lot longer. Um, with the hard drives, um, I didn't realize this, but they do have shock protection on board. I didn't think they did, but they do. Um, and the highest capacity I've seen is up to um, 60 gigs. They had a 60 gigabyte JVC in the store. It was one of their Averio series. Um, there was also, um, I saw online, a 120 gigabyte uh, camera. Excuse me. Um, but what I find interesting with the hard drive cameras is this. Besides them being moving, moving parts, do you know how much 60 gig gigabytes of storage is for movies? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, the salesman I was talking to, because I was talking to him about this to try and get some more information, he quoted 25 hours. 25 hours on a 60 gigabyte hard drive. Now I ask you, who would record 25 hours of video? I... <sighs> That's a mystery to me. 25 hours of video. Um, let's see. But the hard disks can be pricey. In fact, at this point, I believe they are the more expensive of the cameras. The 60 gigabyte hard drive uh, camera I told you about, 
That was on sale for five hundred and fifty dollars. Um, and some are hybrids. You have the ability to record to a memory card or a hard drive and just swap between the two. Now, the funny thing about the JVC, the Avario that I was looking at, this was the only camera I saw to have a... Si uh, excuse me. I was about to say 60 gig hard drive again. <laughs> but what I meant to say was a, a micro SD card slot. Now, micro SD, th those are prevalent in cell phones. Okay, you really don't see them anywhere else except for cell phones. Uh, maybe on a couple of the low-end internet-based cameras you might uh, like any competitors to the flip. But as far as full-featured cameras, I have not seen micro SD on a camera until this particular one. Micro SD is dangerous because those cards are so easy to lose. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm glad I have the, my phone as the only device that takes micro SD. Uh, it's much easier to keep track of if you keep it in your phone and don't move it. Whereas if you move it between devices and you store it someplace and you forget it, well, congratulations, those cards are about the size of your index finger, so you may as well just be looking, you know, it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack, especially if you have a messy room. But, uh, yeah, those micro SD cards, for a video camera, I was very surprised to see it. I really don't like that concept at all. Uh, let's see what else. Uh... And uh, finally, the DVD cameras. Those are also dangerous. Uh, DVD cameras are dangerous in the fact that um, if you don't have an RW disc, and they do have DVD RWs in the size, they're they're mini discs. They're not. I think they're about yay big. They're not full sized discs because if they were, then you really wouldn't have too much of a portable solution. So they are mini discs. Uh, they only record about an hour of video, or at least, um, yeah, I think about an hour or two, but here's an interesting point, um, and we'll get to this in the combination, when we get to combination of formats, but, uh, Hitachi have released a camera that is a Blu-ray disc camera. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, DVD cameras in general, what they do is they burn as they record. That's dangerous because if you don't have the money to throw away discs or if you don't have the time to wait for a rewritable re disc to be erased, then congratulations, once you've ruined your shot, you've pretty much ruined the disc. And by that I mean it's burned, it's there, it's, 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 it's permanent unless you have the time to erase it or and the patience because I've erased RW discs before and they do take some time. Um, depending on your equipment, and, uh, you know, if you don't have the time or patience or the money to throw away on these discs, then you really don't have a solution here. Um, so, uh, that's basically the whole gig. In terms of best to worst, I would say it goes like this. Flash, hard disk, and, um, and DVD. Now, back to the Hitachi, because we're going to take a look at the hybrids, like I said earlier, some cameras have a hybrid hard drive and flash memory or hybrid optical disc and flash memory. Well, this particular camera from Hitachi has all three. It has a Blu-ray and DVD burner uh, with mini discs. It has SDHC memory cards and it has a 30 gigabyte hard drive. So it has all three, your choice, all three can record a video, all three can take pictures, uh, can store pictures. Price, 1000 uh, what was it, $1,270. Give me a break. <laughs> I mean, who wants to spend that much on a consumer-level uh, camera? When you get to the Pro, it's a different world altogether. But as far as consumer-level camera goes, 1250 or 1270 is too much. But with the Flash, I'd say it's the way to go if you're looking for a budget camera, because the Flash would be a perfect budget uh, camera, particularly the one I'm looking at, the Samsung MX20, MCMX20. That's a perfect camera for what you get. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, my whole thing on the formats, uh, flat, again, flash hard drive and DVD. Thank you for watching, and have a nice evening.